I got orange. Yeah, I don't have any orange clothing, but, you know, go Rams. 07. So, yeah, I remember. It was Thursday, walking out of Miss Lang's room, and thinking about that project she gave us with sign and cosign. So, I was thinking about it, but I figured I'll deal with it later. You know, just a weekend thing, and just listen to some music while I walk home. something while I was walking but uh, I guess it was nothing so after a while of thinking obviously about that project and just about what I'm gonna do over the weekend I decided I should stop and take a break you know just sit down chill for a while so I put my music down and gently put my backpack on the ground and I just relaxed just relaxed for a while but then, he came. Then I noticed something strange about him. He was blind. And as the battle began, I suddenly came up with an idea for my project. Okay, first, let's establish the axes. The y-axis would measure the amount of feet his sword reached when he swung. The maximum would be 8 feet. The minimum would be 2 feet. The amplitude, therefore, would be 3. The axis would measure the number of seconds the samurai spent swinging before I got out of his way. Okay, so we start at a point of 8 feet, 0 strokes. So, this is going to be our starting point. Now, since it starts somewhere above 0, let's just say it's going to be a cosine graph. Obviously, I can't graph it on this video editor, but use your imagination. In case no one counted, the entire thing lasted about 4 seconds. However, it took him about half a second to go from top bottom to top. Therefore, our B is 1 half, so our period is 2 pi over 1 half, or 4 pi. Since there was no obvious phase shift, we're going to skip directly to the vertical shift, which is the maximum plus the minimum over 2, so it's going to be 8 plus 2, which equals 10, over 2, which equals 5, so our last and final value is D equals 5. And last but not least, the domain range and all that other stuff. I'm not going to bother reading all those, so just go ahead and read that yourself. Yeah. Yeah, just, just read that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just read that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And so, the final equation is 3 cosine 4 pi x plus 5. Now, let's get back to the story.